the monsters walked up to the top mouth of the cave to find the mob was to meet a father serf in the quarry. We wanted to scare them before sneaking to the house to frighten its residents inside. The double-decker bus had been full then because of the smell of the paint you picked up from the bottom village you were to pick Candlewell. We watched it park at the bottom, positioning themselves to try driving them away. The bus came driving up the hill, but just when it reached the top and its passengers were starting to surf the quarry, it just made a terrifying face at them through his teeth, so sharp, and his eyes blood red. Oopsie made her guts stick through her lips at the driver. Crumb had been on the roof spreading his whoop of smell from his armpits into the bus. The scar frightened the mob. We got back on the bus, leaving Tuller and them laughing. Now we can get to that house, said Crumb. I'll give you a lift to it, said Candlewell. Then we'd better head back to the tip in market. Just one small problem. We need somewhere to sleep. Perhaps we could sleep by that lodge. Who put there? But we need to hide the beetle's colour. That's it! Paint him pink! Anyone will not recognise him, Icarus suggested. The others agreed. Who did Candlewell? He told anything to get his name off anything bad. And repeated his body pink. Then went sneaking to the house, finding the people inside. What? Hey! Let the woman drive! She's tall! What? I'm the wrong side! Let her call in before me! Women serve a kid. Can I pinch the rubbish box? It's all. Candlewell's polluted! Oh. Oops. <laughs> it's, um, it's got rags in it. Can't you just? I'm hungry. One by one, arriving at it, we went sneaking to the door, saw one man who was leaving for work. I'll hide behind this bush, said Cadwell. Good luck. The monsters went sneaking inside the building, quietly pushing the door Open. We said to Candlewell 
that he can leave for Kingston because we can get themselves to the tip by toilet. When we keep to the kitchen, we found the victim not seeing them that had answered his who. him from his breakfast. He ran away with chicken and was off fleeing in his car. Having done the scare, the monsters went looking for the toilet to get themselves off Tala. Ended up in Cranock Tip instead. Oh, oh, again? Things have gone quiet. So I can take you back to Marky, said Candlewell, who met them. I'm glad the hunt's finished with, said Crumb. We best take a junk piece and flee, said so, Oopie. Oh, not for the gate, for the quarry, said the Chris. Put this in the car. decided to rest the turb off the hands and feet. Who one saw them? Anyone didn't see them or recognize Candlewell, but we managed to clean him up. He never wanted to be pink again. <laughs> 